Sequential circuits are used to realize the behavior of a graph. And in order to realize this behavior, we need two kinds of components. The first component that we need is a delay element, also called a D element. Remember that we used the graph in order to realize the memory of the system and these delay elements will be used to realize the memory when we're making the circuits. So these will give us the state of our graph. The other part that we need are Boolean functions. So Boolean functions are the ones that we used for our combinational circuits. They will also be used for our sequential circuits. So they will realize the output function and they will also realize the state transition function in our state transition graph. So we can write our sequential circuits in this form where we here have our combinational circuits which takes the inputs to our system and provides the output to our system. The input to these combinational circuits is also the output here from our D elements or our delay elements and the input to our delay elements here is taken as an output from our combinational circuit. So we look closer on this delay element. So the delay element has one input and one output and the definition is that the output is the input but delayed one time unit. So the sequence u of n here is the sequence x of n minus 1. Which means that we could for example have a 1 here at xn and we could have a 0 here at un. And in the next time instance this 1 that we have in the input will be shifted to the output. So in the next time instance this one will be located here instead. A special case of the delay element that we are going to be interested in in this course is the D flip-flop. And the D flip-flop is updated at a specific occasion which is given by a clock signal. So the clock signal here is used to define our time units. So we have the input here which is we call XT to our D flip-flop and when we have a clock signal here at the D flip-flop this value that we have in the input to the D element will be moved to the output of the D element. So you can see this D element as something that separates the input from the output and when you send the clock signal the input will be shifted to the output. So now we are ready to define our sequential circuit. So the definition is that a sequential circuit is a circuit that contains feedback through delay elements and with a well-defined behavior. And this well-defined behavior is what we are defining using our state transition graphs. So here is a canonical representation of our sequential circuit. We have our combinational circuit here which takes the input to the system as inputs but it also takes as input the output from the delay elements. And the output of the combinational circuit is both the output from the system and also the inputs that we're going to use for our delay elements. So the combinational circuits here, if we have n inputs and we have r d elements, it means that we have a mapping here from n plus r variables to, and here we have p outputs, so we have p plus r outputs. So this is the mapping that we're having using our combinational circuits. And these elements are then typically d flip-flops in our realizations and these will give us the memory of our system and the state as we have defined it is the set of the outputs from the D element and the next state that we need to define using for example our truth tables are the inputs to our D elements.